Well, how do that, chums? Does I, Captain Lover Steve's, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I'm going to be talking about light, no fire, as you can see, it's, it's behind me. Yeah, so what am I going to be talking about today? One, a possible release date that's been put onto a website, rightly or wrongly. It's for you to decide, let us know in the comments. And what else do I want to go into? Yes, the traffic to light, no fire. Yes, yeah, so let's jump on over to the Tinterwebs, and we'll start with that, I think, people. So here we go, jumping over onto the Tinterwebs. Boom! So, I'm over on the Steam page. Now, I can see here Wishlisted 6, but I think that's just the games that I've got wishlisted. I can't see the overall stats of how much wishlisting has taken place for Light No Fire. Still have nothing new on the release date to be announced and all that sort of shenanigans here. But as I go across these tabs here, we're going to see a different picture there, people. So stay tuned if you want to see potential release dates. But anyway, well, wish lists or whatever they're called. So I jumped on over to Bing AI. Okay, so here I am over on Bing. I said, hi Bing, Steve here. Is there a way to see how many times a game has been wishlisted on Steam? Bing came back with all of this to say, yes, yes, I can. I can see how often games have been wishlisted, blah de blah de blah So I said, brilliant. How many times has Light No Fire by Hello Games been wishlisted? It says, according to SteamDB, Light No Fire by Hello Games has been wishlisted 58,000 times as of this writing. It's the 12th most wishlisted game on Steam. Light No Fire is a game about adventure, building, survival, blah de blah de blah Freaking awesome news. So that's really good as a healthy indicator of just how many people might be picking up Light No Fire on Steam. That's just one outlet as well, people. So very interesting data there. Hercules it is. Anyway, jumping over to Light No Fire, over on the Hello Games Tube, over on YouTube, you can see here it's had over 11 million views. So then when you look at the Steam count of how many people have wishlisted it, to see that it's 58,000, which is... Well, I don't even think that's 1%, is it? I'm not very good at math. But looking at the like ratio, you've got 60,000 likes. Okay, so 10% likes, just for easy math, would be, what, 1.1 million views? Why are we seeing 67k views, then, people inside of the view of us? Yes, your viewers... You'd know, probably. The only thing I can think of is because there's probably some sort of ad that's been run or some sort of advertising campaign run by Hello Games to promote this trailer. So it would have put this trailer out there on Instagram, Reddit and all the other social media spaces. So people might have seen this trailer like 10, 15 times each by now. If they're looking at No Man's Sky content or just viewing games in general, there's a good chance they've probably seen this trailer a few times or have it offered to them. It still counts as a view. Because the view count on the side of uh, YouTube is actually... It's not unique views. It's not unique views. It's just views, concurrent views. So I may have seen this trailer a few times through ads, you know? So it's going to count that few times that I've viewed it, people inside of the view of us. So anyways, head on over to the old Twitter space and under Sean Murray Watch, it does say here, Light No Fire is by one of the far most watched trailers from the Game Awards for more than double the views of the next highest. And that was a few days ago, but yeah. But then, is that because there is some sort of advertising campaign going on? Because when I look at my own ratios on YouTube, because I, I, I create content over there, what I'm used to seeing is about a 10% differential. It's like I've got 1,100 views here, and the like ratio is about 10%, 108. So, and that applies to pretty much every video. I mean, this one's just under that, with 231 views, opposed to the 3,000 odd likes. But that does, it does seem to be quite consistent. You can see that up and down here. And then the only time that that's not consistent is this one. I've got 7,000 views and only 78 likes. That's weird. That's very weird. But then, when you click on over to Promotions Beta, you can see here as one of my promoted videos. I actually promoted that video. I paid to have it put onto the YouTube front page and I paid £75 for that. I can only but imagine for Hello Games to get that sort of amount of views on their actual trailer, they would have pumped a lot of moolah into it. And I would like to think that, you know, this is more of a realistic count and then you times that by 10. So perhaps it's had, you know, 
what, six, 607,000 views or something? 6,700 views, something like that, you know? That's probably a more realistic sort of figure to go by. And then when you look at how many people have potentially wishlisted it over on here, and it says 58,000, it's more in line with that 67,000 odd views that I believe that video has actually had. I don't believe it's had as much traffic as what's been put out there, people inside the Viewerverse, is what I'm trying to get at. So anyways, for those that have stuck around long enough, here's the review, uh, the release dates for the game. Now, this website here, Game Leap, when you scroll on down, it talks about what they know so far, and it talks about that there could be a release date in 2024. Taking everything into account, our best case scenario prediction would be winter. 2024. The release date for Night Light No Fire. Given the time Hello Games have already committed to the project, as well as how good the gameplay trailer looked, a late 2024 release date seems to be entirely possible. That's best case scenario. They put realistic release date for No Man uh, Light No Fire. Hello Games' first offering of No Man's Sky released in 2018 to Avalanche's disgruntled reviews. The indie studio is sure to fight hard to guarantee this is not the case with Light No Fire. This added caution, plus the realities of the game development for indie teams, make setbacks and delays likely. A backup predicted release date would there, therefore be summer 2025. So I pigeonholed it at August to September of 2025, but we shall see. Yes, I mean, August is tail end of the summer, isn't it? But there we are. Anyway, there is actually a website, though, that actually gives a release date. And that website is Instant Gaming. I don't know how many people buy games through Instant Gaming, but yes, they've got an actual published release date of 2024. They've actually gone in, people, with a release date. This is the only website that I'm seeing an actual release date on. I don't know where they got this information. I have no idea whether it's legit or not, but it's the first place I've seen it actually published and put up there. Now, everything else seems like it's just been ripped straight from freaking Steam, to be honest. So I don't know where they've got that date from or whether it contains any sort of clout or interest. And anyway, people, this website, if you want to see it, is called instantgaming.com. And... Uh, <laughs> Let us know in the comments, is this a legit, is it a trusted source? Have you come across this before? I've never used them to purchase games, and I'm new to PC gaming anyway. I've only just really enrolled in Steam, so I haven't really got much going on in Steam. I mean, my wishlisted titles, I've only got a few in here. And Dune, Pal World, Under a Rock, Nightingale, Towers of Ashaba, and Light No Fire. To be announced. To be announced. It does say coming soon over here, but, you know, when soon? Uh, I honestly still think it's going to be 2025. I don't think it's going to be 2024. There's reasons why I feel that way. Uh, I've done a whole video on it. I'll put it in the top corner over there. Go hit that up. But that aside, I also want to address the hype that is following this title. Because the hype levels for this are extraordinarily high. And I just want to put it out there that perhaps they're high mainly because it's been promoted and pushed. Perhaps through a promotion and by Hello Games. The figures don't look right on the stats, people out there. That's what I'm getting at. The figures just don't look right. But to see that 55,000 people have wishlisted this and it's in the top wishlisted games on Steam goes to show that there is a heck of a lot of hype for this title. Now, you saw that scene there where the, the dragons took to the skies, okay? Inside of No Man's Sky trailers right now, the same thing happens with ships. When all the ships take off, they seem to follow a set path. And this seems to do exactly the same things. When all the dragons take off, they all fly in the same direction. Now, they they, they might all be on headsets. They might be talking to each other. They, not, they might all be sort of like coordinated in this sort of way. But to fly in formation like this, we see this happen in the No Man's Sky trailers quite often. And it almost feels like it's quite scripted. Did you see all those dragons take off into the sky, go up all at the same time? To me, this feels like there's still some scripting that's gone on in the backgrounds of this trailer. Now, Hello Games tend to do this quite a lot in their trailers. Let me find you another trailer of an instance where I feel that Hello Games have used some scripting. I won't be a second, people. 
Okay, right, well, I've got the trailer. So this is a No Man's Sky Next Generations trailer. So if I hit play on this, you've got all these statements at the front here, every planet procedural, every leaf tree bush. I, I still don't believe that's a true statement because it feels like they're not procedurally generated. They might be procedurally placed through uber noise, but I don't think they're um, procedurally generated per se. Anyway, take a look at this planet and see if you notice anything interesting. You've got the little fluttering beetles. And then guess what? You've got droids. You've got little droids on this planet. Droids and beetles on the same planet. And you see how all the NPCs are all sort of going in the same sort of direction here. Hmm. I... Okay. You don't get droids and beetles on the same planet. And here you go. Here's the same thing. Think of the dragons taken off. And now think of all these sort of taken off in the similar sort of way. And they, they all follow the same flight path. When one flies up into space, they all fly up into space. Very synchronized. Look, as he turns, they turn. It's all very scripted. I'm seeing the same thing happen inside of that light no fire trailer. Now, we know that the planets that have got beetles and droids on don't exist inside a game. Yet they will quite happily put it inside of their trailer. So what I'm saying is, is what we're seeing in Light No Fire, I think is going to be close to what we see when the actual game launches. But don't be surprised if there's things inside of that Light No Fire trailer that don't appear inside of game. It's like this trailer even mentions that there's 32 player lobbies for PlayStation. We don't get up to 32 players. It sort of caps out at 14 people inside the viewer verse. So there, there is that as well. Just just don't I don't want to say don't get overly hyped by the trailer because the trailer is amazing and the game looks amazing and the idea of having a procedural earth that we're all going to be inhabiting sounds freaking phenomenal don't get me wrong I am super excited and super stoked for it and I can't wait to jump in and play it I'm just saying that not always what you see is what you get when it comes to hello games trailers and what they actually put out there as being legit gameplay it's it's not always the case there might be subtleties of what you might see, but then some of these planets that they showcase in some of these trailers are the most amazing, beautiful planets you're going to see. And you might not ever really come across all too often inside of game. So just bear that in mind, people. OK, anyways, that's that's pretty much everything I've got for you. Salute to Mondo. Until next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. And goodbye again.